Um, hi, everyone. I'm Nasiba Sidat and uh, a counterpart from my uh, classmates. I will be presenting the progress of my capstone project as this work will be continued. One more quarter and the final presentation will be in September. So today I'm going to take you all to Mozambique, uh, which is lying in the southern um, Southern Africa. And uh, the, uh, Mozambique has a 2,500 2, kilometers of coastline. Uh, it has a very rich uh, terrestrial and marine biodiversity. But one specific aspect that uh, I want to touch today is the fact that Mozambique is considered a global hotspot for sharks and rays or elasmobranchs species. And until the date, um, we have been uh, uh, identified more than 100 species of elasmobranchs, uh, which includes sharks, rays, and shark-like rays, uh, which we refer to wedge fish and guitar fishes. So sharks are essential for healthy marine ecosystem as they uh, stabilize and maintain the populations of uh, the preys, but they also has a very uh, vital um, role uh, for the fishing communities uh, as a source of protein and income. However, uh, there are some issues because uh, fishing communities are high dependent in fishing activities and uh, usually they lack of alternative livelihoods. On the other side, there uh, is a sufficient level of awareness about the importance of elasmobranchs and their overfishing impacts, which cause a weak involvement of fishing communities uh, in elasmobranch conservation and management actions. Uh, along with that, uh, elasmobranchs are very prone to overfishing, especially because of the vulnerable life history uh, that they have. So um, elasmobranchs has uh, slow growth, late maturity, uh, few pups, and the most juvenile and threatened species are caught in, in fisheries. So this mean, means that uh, the, the, the population uh, can decline uh, and with time they can disappear uh, very soon. And uh, because of that, there's a global concern uh, about um, increased number of elasmobranchs catches and uh, lo uh, global NGOs like WCS or Wildlife Conservation Society in Mozambique have been working in partnership with the government uh, to develop um, several activities, uh, especially um, in shark and ray uh, conservation in the Southern West Indian Ocean. So since 2018, WCS government and other partners um, have been working in a long-term monitoring program for uh, shark and ray species catches uh, in landing sites uh, from uh, artisanal fisheries. And um, one, one specific area uh, had um, brought uh, a lot of attention, which is Zambezia province in the center of Mozambique. Um, this uh, province has uh, 300 uh, kilometers of coastline. So it's very hard to try uh, to work with the, um, all, all of the community, the fishing communities in the coast. So the data uh, from the landing sites show Zalala Beach as one of the landing sites with the highest uh, catches recorded. So the goal is to um, engage with fishing communities to exchange knowledge and increase their awareness on the importance of elasmobranchs and, and the negative impacts of overfishing so they can commit to design sustainable fishing practices that both safeguard their livelihoods and elasmobranch populations in Zalala Beach. My Capstone project has two main objectives. The first one is to understand the current situation of the, of the information regarding uh, Elasmobranch species catches in artisanal fishing landing sites, especially because uh, there is still insufficient um, and limited information uh, for species level, which are required to design better uh, conservation and management actions. The second objective is uh, gaining the commitment of the fishing communities to co-design potential solutions for sustainable fishing practices in Zalala Beach. Um, in terms of uh, how each objective um, is going, the first objective presented some challenges. So uh, because of the 
climate change impacts. Mozambique has suffered from a very uh, serious uh, cyclone, uh, which hit uh, Zalala Beach exactly the week uh, that I was planning to go to the field. So that uh, postponed uh, and uh, uh, promoted some uh, late activities in my planning. And but uh, luckily, last month I was able to to do the exploratory visit to Zalala Beach, and um, confirm uh, and get some evidence of what is happening on the ground, which is clear that uh, in Zalala Beach there is a target uh, shark fishing. Um, one of the main uses of uh, the shark are for the fins uh, that um, uh, provide. Uh, the support to the trade and uh, uh, most of the fins that are not that are less valuable seems to be left behind and uh, uh, luckily for for the science purpose uh, we were able to collect some samples uh, to provide information for other studies like uh, di uh, population dynamics of uh, hammerheads and other species that are critically endangered um, in, in the IUCN. In terms of objective two, some challenges are, are more um, uh, aligned. Some challenges are more uh, linked to the need to increase the effort to outreach the legislation and increase the awareness of uh, the knowledge on fishers and uh, local uh, law enforcement um, entities. So this first picture on your left um, is from the fish market in Zalala Beach, which still has a uh, very like out of date uh, posters about um, which uh, species are protected. So there's a joint effort uh, between um, uh, local partners and the other uh, NGOs with the government to disclose um, the information and especially the new uh, regulation on the uh, fisheries, which include um, several uh, species that are protected now, including 14 species of sharks. In terms of progress for this objective, uh, during the field uh, visit was uh, possible to engage with the local partners and uh, the fishing communities. So uh, on your left side, um, it was a, a meeting with the National Oceanographic uh, uh, of Mozambique, uh, which has a delegation in, in, the, in the Mbezia province and have been working there with the different uh, topics regarding fishery. And the second picture is with the community itself on the beach. Uh, where we were able to meet with the president of the Fisheries Community Council. In terms of del deliverables, um, I will be de developing four of them. Well, the first one is a report um, on the uh, existing uh, data uh, on sh uh, catches for sharks and rays in six coastal uh, provinces of Mozambique between 2018 and 2022 in the way to uh, understand uh, what is the current situation of the information regarding uh, Lasmobranc species. Uh, it will also be uh, applied for looking for insights of socioeconomic drivers and high level findings with Lasmobranc fishing in Zalala Beach. So uh, this report will include uh, data analysis from 2018 to 2022. Uh, it was recorded 1,324 elasmobranchs. This information will help to improve knowledge, especially uh, in terms of uh, shark species that occur in the center and northern Mozambique, where uh, few studies have been developed. And uh, the information will also help to inform monitoring programs such as the government and the other NGOs programs and support policy and local pl uh, management plans. However, I won't be able to uh, share information of reports with the, with the communities. Uh, some uh, results so far that shows uh, more um, 
catches in the wet season than the dry season. And information such as this kind of uh, bar graphs that shows that at least one uh, critical uh, uh, critical endangered species has been collect, uh, recorded on the landing site surveys. So therefore, for exchanging knowledge and uh, engage with the communities, um, I will, I, I'm uh, developing infographics and animatic in the way to use as a primer communication uh, tools to uh, engage with the communities. Um, this is a draft of an animatic that uh, uh, it's been developing uh, to uh, to share the information with the communities. Por que os tubarões de raias são essenciais para as comunidades costeiras? Tubarões de raias são fonte de alimento e rendimento, contribuindo para a subsistência das comunidades costeiras. No ecossistema marinho, contribuem para a saúde dos oceanos. Por esse motivo, existe uma preocupação global com a crescente vulnerabilidade dos tubarões e das raias sobre pesca. O crescimento lento, a maturidade da ilha, o número reduzido de crias, a captura de juvenis e de espécies ameaçadas estão a causar um declínio nas suas populações. Isto tem impacto no mar e afeta negativamente as pessoas que dele dependem. Para avaliar os impactos da pesca artesanal sobre estes animais em Moçambique, as capturas de tubarões e raias são registradas uma vez por semana em locais de desembarque em seis províncias costeiras entre 2018 e 2022. Foi usada uma aplicação instalada no telefone para recolher informações e fotografias de modo a identificar as espécies com precisão. Em 811 dias de pesquisa, foram registrados 1.300 tubarões e raias. Mais de metade delas foram identificadas em 29 espécies das quais a maioria está classificada como ameaçada pela IUCN. A Praia de Salala, na província da Zambésia, registrou maior diversidade de espécies e maior número de tubarões e raias durante o estudo. É essencial saber quantos e quais tubarões e raias estão a ser capturados, pois esta informação permite elaborar melhores medidas para manter e gerir as suas populações. E isso ajuda-nos a ter mais peixe para pescar. Para tal, queremos engajar as comunidades costeiras para desenvolver soluções para práticas de pesca sustentável que assegurem os seus meios de subsistência e mantenham as populações de tubarões gerais estáveis. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm going to continue the presentation, but I need to change the audio to my headphone. One second, please. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So um, I will also uh, be developing uh, another two del deliverables, uh, which are a poster on main issues and potential solutions uh, that I will I, I'm searching for uh, to uh, share with the communities. So I will use a poster to communicate uh, and collect insights from them, and uh, the last. Uh, um, deliverable will be a set of recommendations on how to implement those sustainable fishing practices that will be designed together with the communities, which can uh, uh, in the future can be uh, implemented by other actors or uh, NGOs and, and the parties. So lessons learned so far. Um, uh, as Kevin, uh, who presented me, uh, mentioned, conservation requires multidisciplinary and integrated approaches. So, and, and this is one of the uh, beautiful lessons that I, I'm taking from the Coastal Science and Policy Program, where we learn different um, disciplines, which uh, are uh, very complementary uh, to do our work. I learned to listen more and not to be afraid to adapt my plans when things change it. Pausing is not stopping. Uh, it's good for the redirection and to continue with more clarity. Um, another thing that uh, I was able to um, realize during uh, the first field, uh, field uh, visit to the Zalala beach is the fact that we need to allow the community to talk about fishing in a large context. And uh, then as researchers, we can extract what is useful for us. 
So uh, if we're talking about uh, sharks and rays and they uh, direct to other topics, more um, general to fishing uh, activities, uh, we should make time and safe space so people uh, can uh, engage and talk about uh, this general uh, talks and then we can uh, always extract what is useful for us. In terms of next steps, um, I, I'm developing necessary information uh, to increase uh, awareness of fishing communities on Elasmobranx uh, for their livelihoods. And then I will also uh, be searching for potential solutions on um, sustainable fishing practices that have been uh, worked in other places in Mozambique, Africa, or other um, countries on the globe, which can be adapted to the local context of Zalala Beach. And with that information, developing a poster to communicate ideas um, and uh, using community engagement approaches, uh, using focus groups to collect insights and get fishing communities involved to co-design potential solutions to implement sustainable fishing practices that improve the livelihood of the fishing communities, but also contribute to Lasmo brand conservation in Zalala Beach. Um, my list of uh, acknowledge acknowledgements, uh, it's huge. Uh, thank you everyone, and I'm open for questions.